hello friends i welcome you to my youtube channel macpion so in today's video we will again solve a numerical problem of based on stress and strain which is a numerical problem so let's read the problem and along with the reading the problem we will note the data or parameter which are given in the problem a hollow steel tube is to be used to carry an axial compressive load so let's draw This is the hollow tube. It has to come. It has to carry axial compressive load. That is compressive load applied on both axes. The yield stress of the steel is 250 newton per mm square. Yield stress sigma y is equal to 250 newton per m is per factor of safety factor of safety fs is given as 1.75 is to be used to be in the demand the following three classes of tube external diameter 101.6 mm are available so od od is d this is suppose circle hollow circular section the outer diameter is d and inner diameter is small d so d is given as 101.6 mm these are the three classes of the tube which is light its wall thickness is given as 3.65 mm medium which is 4.05 mm thick heavy which 4.8 mm thick which one do you recommend so we have to select one out of these three actually it is very easily you can say that we can select heavy it will be strongest but we have to save the cost also so if we can utilize this uh, thin one light one for this load and it will be strong enough to withstand this axial load then we will choose lighter one so let's see if we can use light or we, we need to use heavy or medium so first of all the yield stress is given as 250 newton per mm square means up to yield strength material will not get deformed or it will have its elasticity up to this limit if we apply more load than this then material will not break but it will deform plastically okay so maximum stress we can apply is 250 newton per mm square but you can see that there is a factor of safety which is one point 7.5 okay so what is the meaning of factor safety factor of safety is given in suppose we have to design support factor of safety is 2 means suppose this this is a member it can withstand load of 200 newton but we we are putting factor of safety is equal to 2 means we will apply only divided by 2 which is 100 newton we will not apply more than 100 newton force because it can withstand force up to 200 newton but we are keeping factor of safety means we are making it twice as strong as we are needing this means suppose we are uh, we are required to make it withstand 100 newton maximum force is expected and still we will make 200 newton so that we have factor of safety it is safe it is two times stronger so here 1.75 is factor of safety means we have to design 1.75 times stronger than what we are uh, required okay so here uh, stress is maximum stress is 250 so we will not give go up to 250 okay we are we will go to up to that limit from where we still have factor of safety or 1.75 so maximum allowable suppose maximum allowable stress we will apply we will not go beyond this so it will be 250 divided by 1.75 okay we can go up to 250 but we have to keep this factor of safety so we will not allow the material to go up to that limit we will go up to only this limit so it will be equal to 142.857 newton per mm square okay now 
what else is given hollow steel tube uh, we have been given x stress factor safety so we have calculated allowable stress up to which we can go now what is stress stress is force supply divided by area here 160 kilo newton is given as compressive load 160 kilo newton here also 160 kilo newton load is applied on this bar hollow hollow uh, cylinder okay so load is given 160 kilo newton which is 160 into 10 to power 3 newton divided by area is pi by 4 it is hollow so the outer diameter minus the inner diameter all square okay sigma is given it is equal to 142.857 okay this is a area so we will get area is equal to 142.857 newton per mm square divided by 160 into 10 to the power 3 newton Okay, so from here we will get area is equal to 1120 mm square. Newton will be cancelled with this Newton. So we will get sorry, this will be 1 by A. Because this A is in denominator denominator. So if 150 will go down here and it will remain 1 by a. So 1 by a is equal to this. So a will be reverse of this. It is equal to 160 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 142.857. So a will we will get value of a is equal to 1120 mm square, which will be equal to pi by 4 d minus d square. So we can put the value of pi and we know the value of d so it will equal to 1120 equal to 3.14 divided by 4 d is outer diameter is 101.6 square minus small d square from here we will get if we put all the value we have put all the value if we take it aside then we will get d square is equal to 8896 0.53 so d will be equal to under this which is equal to 94.32 mm so here you can see this is hollow so this is d this is outer diameter is capital d then this is thickness is t so you can see that d plus 2t is equal to capital D, here t, here t, d plus 2t is equal to d, so 2t is equal to d minus t, so t is equal to d minus d by 2, okay, so we will put the values, t is 101.6 minus small d is 94.32 divided by 2, so we will get value of t is equal to 3.63 mm. 3.63 so we will see what choices are we, we are given 3.63 we are getting we should use minimum this is minimum value if we use, will use thinner than this then it will not we will extend this load or factor of safety will be violated so this value of the thickness should be more than 3.63 so you can see that light is also more than 3.63 it is 3.65 so light one is also stronger than what is required so for cost cost consideration we will choose lighter one these all three can withstand this load and these two are even stronger but still for cost saving we will use light one which is 3.65 mm thick so I hope you understood this problem. If you have any doubt, then you can ask in the comment section.